Hello, 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 welcome to the Sim Cafe. Do I need to move this up a little bit or back a bit? I don't know, I'm always messing with it. And now we've got the monitor in the way. The monitor's really annoying, isn't it? Oh no, it's gonna mess around loads. How are we all doing? It is Friday night. That's better. Bit more in the middle now. It's Friday night. It is uh oh blimey, everything's hidden by everything now. The nineteenth of April. Yeah, nineteenth of April. How are we doing everybody? How are we doing? Great to see you all here. It is a very special occasion because of course tonight we have our prologue event for the first dance so things are getting quite serious um i think i need to move this back a little bit you know i've got my monitor literally too close now i think it's looking a bit weird um let's get that light sorted as well there we go light be nice um so oh it's just drooping down never mind it's kind of bright over here isn't it so hello everybody um it is an exciting night it is a bit of um you know, it's not, what should we say? It's kind of like we're testing things tonight. You know, we're just making sure stuff works. It's not that deep. We want to make sure that all the server info works and all the server settings work. And we're kind of testing all the timings as well. And we're getting in to test out doing a briefing and that kind of stuff. So lots of different things we're testing tonight. Uh, let's have a look at who's in the chat, shall we? Let's start with that. Let's see what wonderful people we've got here. So we've got Alicia. Hello. She's probably somewhere in uh, West London now. Rarish. Nige, Cynic, Bling Clean, Kaz, Uzair, Cosmic, Matt, uh, Carlos, and John. Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing? Um, obviously, part of tonight is about sorting out some of the uh, bugs and issues. So, for example, poor Dargo is in the wrong car. He's still lifted as a Ferrari, so we need to change that to the Aston, I think he's going for now, if I remember. Or the Lambo? Can't remember. Um, Finn, your surname is an interesting one. Would you like me to just change it to OE? Should we just put OE in there? I'm not sure what uh, Mike put. He might have used an accent, obviously, that the coding didn't quite work with. Uh, and we did have a question. Do you have to sign up for this, Jeff? Asked Blinklean. Uh, yes, you do. Normally, we do drop-in races, but now we're starting to do our first ever community league. And for that, you have to sign up. Oh, boy, there goes the back. And what are we all racing for, I hear you ask? We are racing for these beauties. Look at these trophies. They're incredibly heavy. Solid gold, solid gold trophies uh, here at the Sim Cafe, which we're very proud of. So you guys are going to be racing for these over the next few months. We've got five races over, let's say, every fortnight. And tonight we're just testing everything out to make sure it all works. So there we go. Um, Aston for Dargo. Actually, Porsche. What? Well, hold on. How to join our Sam uh, next time. Uh, let's have a good race, says who's there. Definitely, who's there. Hello, hello, hello. Starting the prologue the day after a sizable upgrade is cheating, right? I mean, well, look, I'll tell you, Matt, I mean, timing is everything, clearly. And I've got a bit lucky with it in that way, in that I now actually have some very nice gear. Can't complain. This beauty, this absolute beauty here, the GT Neo. In fact, I believe I can just go, bing, and go, look at that. Oh, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. That is the GT Neo, the new hot wheel on the market. I've got all the stickers on it, and it lights up like a dream when I snap it on. 
Oh, it does all the little lights. That's so cool. Wow. So, very happy with this. Uh, cannot complain at all. Uh, I need to load up a setup and do some laps. Uh, I saw your Insta post. Did you like it, Juan? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. It's interesting. Didn't get a lot of traction. Might do later on. Who knows? Uh, let's load that. And let's pump the tyres up a bit. We've got to do a lap. Everyone's complaining about the position of my car. Uh, I hope you guys are all looking forward to tonight's race. Uh, we will be uh, doing a one-hour race at Zolder to test. With one mandatory pit stop. No pit window. Oh, Richardson going two tenths faster than Knudsen. Knudsen's got some competition at the top. I mean, we haven't got everyone here, but clearly the pros are stating their claim. And look at that. Look at the fast boys in the build class. Rarish and Mike. Uh, Miles, Mike. Sorry, Miles. Um, they are very much high up there. I think different tracks. I've said it before. A lot of us are going to be very fast on a couple of these tracks. That is a weird pit exit, isn't it? Hey, Anu! How you doing, buddy? Are you joining us this evening for our test? Everything feels a bit new. Ooh, let's do that as well. Everything feels a bit new here. Just trying to get used to it. No one out on track. Love it. 27 minutes left before our first briefing. We have a briefing at 8 p.m. Yellow flag ahead. Watch out. Everything feels a bit new for me, so I've just got to be patient. And over the next week, I need to do a lot of laps of Monza. I was doing 129s when I was practicing with George. Oh, practicing yesterday with George? Oh, really? Nice. There we go. We've got 23 people here tonight for the test event so far, which is great. 27 minutes left in practice, so if you are joining us, do make it happen. Hey, Carbon. Good to see you, sir. Yellow Everything feels so one. new and weird on this wheel. I need to get used to it all. I need to understand what it's telling me for grip. You see what I mean? Maybe tonight's test event is also about finding out who's in the wrong class, you know? Tony asks, what's the slipperiest track in all the sports car racing? Well, Laguna's pretty slippery because of all the dust, right? It's normally dusty ones. Whichever ones are near sand and desert and get loads and loads of dust and dust all over their track. That must be pretty hard to deal with. you go from a 58 to an X3D. Really nice, yes, yeah, what I've got. Love it. <clears throat> well, it's gone very light there. Oh, there's those massive blinks I've been getting. Cheers, ACC. Is that, why is that? Is that because of the updates? Is anyone else getting these things? These big major stutters? Is it just me? What's going on? I'm not exactly happy with them. George is unhappy about his car choice. Do we offer an amnesty one time for people to change car before we move on? What do you reckon? Seems regular. Ooh. The internet wasn't ready, says Cosmic Mike. We'll see. I might put on my YouTube shorts as well. I might be, uh, get some interesting comments. But yeah, the heartbreak at the Sim Racing Cafe. Hello, look at the Fast Boys. Next to Steve, you beat him there in the chat. There you go, you beat Knudsen in the chat. Knudsen, you got some competition now. He's old enough to be your dad. He used to drive on a G29. His name is Stevie Richardson. Kaz, I know, right? I think everyone must be, surely. It's weird how that's done a thing, but I'm getting some wild ones. I feel like I've got so much more confidence with a DD wheel. It's mad. Very slow, but ignore that. We've got work to do. Oh, that's probably an invalid. No. Oh. Yeah, you can't do that, Jeff. But I ain't spinning. I ain't spinning. Got some work to do with this. I don't think I've seen you race around Zolder, says Cosmic. Uh, it's a shame because I love it. Am I in the cup car? Hey. Woo. Um, yeah, so. So much going on. Uh, heard great I'm stories so about quiet. it. Not had too many frame drops. Oh. Go do. Right, anyway. Yeah, I need to get used to everything in my new setup. It's going to take me a few laps.
But I do love racing at Zolder, Mike. It's a great track to race on. I don't know if you've raced here much, but uh, it's a lot of fun for racing. Not so exciting for hot lapping. You know, pretty simple. Dear me. Wow. Pretty simple. But for racing, it's a lot of fun. We've got Dan Gemma, Andy Burrow, Ian, it's great to see all of our community here on the track. Obviously, I know pretty much every name on the track, of course, because I've done all your entrance and so on and seen all your forms and all that kind of stuff. Always provides great racing if it does. Rarish doesn't like the curbs. Understood, buddy. I get that. That's a bit better. A bit too hesitant on the throttle, but we'll work on it. to warm up a little bit. We're getting there. Hell no, hello Dargo. Aston for me next race, yeah. Understood. One thing stands a wizard for not dying in an Audi. Probably a few people who agree with you on that statement, Juan, that's for sure. Tire pressures are acceptable, but not ideal. Hi, fella. God bless you. Likewise, Mikado. Hope you're well, sir. Oh, we nearly snuck into 29s. We've got some work to do. Agreed, Patrick. Got a break for you to make an omelette.
Okay, let's do another lap or two. Katie's ahead of us in the Godzilla. Great to see you on the track. That time's not amazing. Stay away from Casey there, there we go. <laughs> Pretty rough from both of us. Okay, a couple of laps of fuel left. Let's do one or two more laps. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves this evening. Settle in for a prologue event at Zolder where I'm clearly going to be showing myself like a fresh class driver by the looks of it. Well, I'm about mid-pack. I'm in the bottom of uh, my class, aren't I? Oh, there's a lot of amateurs in front of me. I say amateur, fresh is the word. It seems like Drooper's doing really well. He's at near the top of the timings for that to be fair but we're going to see these overlaps every track that's for sure for me it's all about staying clean in the race see if I can pick up some points there do a clean pit stop I should probably practice that one time let's practice a pit stop and put a few PSI in Jeff I don't think the guys can join in the briefer room okay cool I'll sort that in a moment. Let me just go and do this lap in. I've already done it, Steve. So maybe I've done something wrong. I did say everyone off and then the TFD rolls on, but... Yeah, I don't think I've done a permission problem, so give me a second. And I'll come into the pits. Still got 15 minutes of practice left, so no rush. Okay, so what's a pit stop here? You go through. You probably break that bit of curb there. And what about through here? Ooh, it's quite dangerous. Okay, let me have a look. Okay, let's have a look. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm in the driver briefing room. Um, can anyone see if you can join the driver briefing room on the Discord? For anyone who's watching who isn't a staff member and is part of Flint. There we go. Flint's in the audience. Rarish, rarish or um, thingy though. Uh, Flint is a question, buddy. 
Uh, I'm going to ask you if you can join the driver briefing. I'm going to kick you out, see if you can join it. It says locked. Okay. Hold on. It says locked. I can't as a freshie. Interesting, Cynic. Okay. Um, okay, let me have a look. What about now? Can you do it now, Sin? Okay, now you can. Okay, I'm just going to have it like that then. People can join in. Ian, you need to join the stage. So, Ian, if you ever look at the bottom, Ian, it says join the stage. So, you need to click that. There we go. Beautiful. Works now. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, can you uh, can you hear me? Yeah, and so can the whole stream actually. I think. Excellent. Hello, hello. Um, obviously, we've got the briefing in twelve minutes, so no rush. Um, but that looks like it's working out because people. Do, I did the wrong permissions; it wasn't quite working. So we're all good now. Okay, um, I'll uh, I'll turn my mic off and just hang out here and wait till eight o'clock. Uh, yeah, sounds good. See you in a minute. Cool. No problem. All right, uh, I might as well mute myself on Discord as well so I don't annoy anyone. We can start filling up the driver briefing room, everyone. If you fancy it, get in the driver briefing room. Uh, Jason, so thanks for your help earlier, mate, on the phone. I really appreciate it. No problem at all. Um, I was kind of busy at work, so I couldn't... I think you sent me another message about where to find it. I'm sure you better find it, sir. They are all listed in Steam. Um, and if not, there are places on the Discord that you can definitely ask. Uh, including Riggs Corner, ACC Racing, wherever, water cooler chat. You'll figure it out. Uh, you're welcome to use it. Uh, you're in, says David. Nice one, yep. Good to see. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be in uh, 11 minutes. That's all good. Right, okay. So, yeah, I'm not going to be the fastest today, am I? I'm uh, a bit far down on the mid list. Matt's uh, faster than me by a good tenth. I've got some speed to catch here, I think. Me and Nigel with identical times. Look at that. You asked the ATC committee. Nice one, Jason. Nice one. Right. So, yeah, we've got a um, driver briefing coming up. Our first ever TSC driver briefing. It's going to be hosted by Ian Buckley, our race director. Our, um, our big buddy. We've done an enduro together a little while ago. We, we nearly did two, but that's another story. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that. I'm guessing it's Ian's first time ever doing a driver briefing as well. So it's going to be quite cool. So this is a really good chance for everyone to just do it once before the big one. And then a chance for everyone to say hello. All of you lurking in the background. Maybe a bit of a stream lurker. Maybe you've not really done much chatting on stream recently. Sometime I put... Oh, don't do that. You're going to want to stay in the Ferrari. It's not too late. There's a lot of Porsches here, I'm surprised, and they're all very fast. I am letting the Porsche team down massively. I should probably go on board of a Porsche and see what speed they're doing. That would be the clever thing. Ah, oh, they're all in the pits. Damn it. Everyone's in the pit. What is this laziness? Right. It's 22 degrees, and I think I need to add a few clicks. Let's do a few laps. Can we see the briefing? You will hear the briefing, Jason, yes. Good to see you with the old hello, Kaz. Don't forget, guys, once we are past the driver briefing, there will be no talking in the in-game chat. Okay, we're getting all serious. This is a test of the real thing. So it's going to feel and look a lot like the real thing. Okay. Here's a question. Does anyone in the chat play Civilization VI? Yo, Herb, how you doing? Anyone in chat play Civilization VI? I'm very interested to know. Civ 6. Any Civ 6 gamers? Yellow flag in sector 2. No, says Juan. Fair enough. Fair enough. If not you, then who, eh? Long time ago, says Patrick. We're not allowed to send messages, Jason. In the in-game chat, Joker. I raced here on a younger Formula Ford. Oh, nice. 
Nice one, Suskia. Good to see. Welcome to the show. Don't recognize your name here too often, so great to see you in chat. And if you're wondering what this is all about, join the Discord, everyone. And we'll be doing events in the summer and then another league in the autumn winter, which is going to be even bigger and even more exciting. Really looking forward to that. Uh, we're probably going to start focusing more on team racing in the leagues in the future. Well, as well. But we wanted to just do a simple, straightforward competition to start us off for TSC. We've got all our trophies that we're fighting for here and some Steam vouchers as well for participation. So for all the drivers in this competition, if they finish every race, they'll get entered into a prize draw at the end and there'll be three Steam vouchers up to grab. <coughs> you joker, Jason. Imagine me banning the chat, that'd be quite funny. I mean, I guess why not, but no. I'm not that mean. Played everyone ever released. Nice one, Patrick. Um, I used to watch my older brother Stephen playing Civilization 1 and I think a bit more 2 with the very basic 2D kind of format of the graphics. I used to love watching him play it. I was probably a bit young to sort of understand it well enough to play it properly. Let's just sit and watch him play it on a little screen. Can I get relegated to medium? Medium. Build, you mean? We have three classes in our series. We've called them Pro, Build and Fresh. And there's a, there's, they're not going to be perfect. I can tell you that for free. Obviously Pro, sure, the fastest are in Pro. And sure, some of the slowest are in fresh but for the rest of us it's a bit of a conundrum people i think in the middle are definitely quite different on different tracks hell no oh kaz beat me kaz kaz looking for a sneaky early win there tonight so because of that it is going to be a bit of a mixed bag some tracks i'll probably be far some tracks i won't I'll be up there and then I won't. It'll be quite difficult. There might be one or two consistent people in the middle to win the build class, but who knows, right? Well, we are going slow here, aren't we? Yellow flag in sector two. Yellow flag is out of the Yeah, Dan, you'll make it, buddy. You'll be all right. Dan, if you put in the work on your lovely little motor wheel, your little, K, your little ES steering wheel that seemed to do so well for you last night, if you put in the work, bro, you just go faster and faster. Say hello, says NASCAR. Good to see you, sir, in the chat. Hope you're well. Play Civ 1 on mold and trotty emit. Yeah, it was all that on the Amiga 500, Patrick. Uh, that's what we used to have, the Amiga 500, with the massive, uh, those massive plastic boxes for those uh, CD, uh, sorry CD, floppy disks, with the clear case, the clear top, and a little key. They'd have a little key, wouldn't they? You'd have a key, and that was security back in the day. <laughs> You'd have a little key for your little uh, Amiga 500 floppy disk box, and they always used to come in like sort of shoebox shape, almost. Uh, well, there's got to be some borderline pros if you think about it. That's a horrible skip. Thank you very much. Jeez. Yeah, my dad had that key. <laughs> oi, oi, Marley. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, sir. Uh, you're not streaming it tonight, are you, by any chance? Or are you just enjoying the racing? Enjoying the live stewarding. So we've got live stewarding, guys, in our races. Yeah, Miles and Rarish are definitely up there. Uh, who else did I see doing quite well in... Um, Oh, come on, Jeff. This is not very fast. Uh, who else did I see? Getting into the feedback. Oh. Was it Matt Beard doing well? Vault Andy Dunn. Oh, Matt, Mike, yes. We've got Mike, haven't we? Miles is in build one, yes. That's the way the cookie crumbled. Look, we know it's not an exact science. And let's face it, people are more than welcome to do some laps and improve. Nothing stopping them. We might see some of that in the fresh class. Who knows in two months where some of the fresh class are, right? I'm sure Marley's doing uh, a good few laps at the moment. He must be improving every day, bit by bit. You don't get worse, that's for sure. Same with uh, Cooper, Chronix. He's definitely putting in a lot of laps. Finn Mubler. Uh I'm going to do... Finn, should I change it to OE? Should I just change it to OE? Is that okay? 
Are you going to be okay with that? I'm thinking of streaming. Oh, cool, bro. That'd be nice. You should definitely stream when you do the main races, right? That'd be cool. But I do love a bit of Amiga 500 nostalgia, Patrick. Um, so I found Good again the... Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Oh, hello. I really hope you're hearing me. Tonight's race is brought to you by the Sim Cafe. Hello, a... Ian. How you doing, mate? All right, can you Good. hear me? I certainly can. I'll make a suggestion. There's three minutes left on practice and there's a, a few peeps out on the track. So let's just give it two minutes. Thank you, Jeff. The no briefing problem. was supposed to start at 8 o'clock. I know, I know, I know. But the server started a few minutes late this evening. Just a few technical hitches on what is clearly uh, a virgin evening for us all. So, yes. Uh, let's give it two seconds. A few more hours. You, you tell me when, then. Okay, beautiful. Will do, sir. So, there we go. Yes, we're about to start our driver briefing very soon. Just putting in the last bit of a lapse now. Will any of the race control be streaming the races? Uh, no, dog. I don't think so. So true, Jeff says Patrick. So yeah, been enjoying a bit of nostalgia with the old Amiga and uh, the old Megalomania. Finding Megalomania. Um, I love playing Megalomania. I found a little simple browser port for it that I was playing in it. It's quite fun. Uh, and then also I've got the CinemaWare on Steam, which has got wings on it. So I can play wings, although it is a bit janky playing it on a keyboard. I don't remember playing on a keyboard before, but here we are. So yeah, good old wings. Without the crashes, just, though, it's I've, weird. I've Hello. just noticed that you're one of the people still driving around. So weird, it's, isn't it's, it? Weird is the reason for this extension. It's, it's almost str No, I'm just here to sweep up the track. I'm looking around, got my eyes open, just making sure no one's doing anything silly. We're all part of a team here. Thank you for spotting that, Ian. Yeah. And Mike as well. Dear, oh dear. I know, I know, I know, right? It's the ones you trust the most. Honestly. Toby said, try to leave work early to race tonight. We've got too much going on. Understandable, Toby. Obviously, there's no pressure for this one. Just helps with the uh, testing for everyone. Gerald said, is it too late to enter this race? Unfortunately, yes, sir. This is a signed-up series from a few weeks back. All signed, sealed, delivered, organised, and ready to bake next week. Evening, Malian. Good to see you. I like canned meat. I'm from Missouri. Let's race. Hello, Casey. Everyone say hi to Casey in the chat. The most creative content creator in sim racing. There you go. Look at that. Hey, Andy. Good to see you. Lots of love for Casey in the chat. We love to say, everyone, put up your Casey emojis. You should have your Casey emojis. It's going to be very lit, Casey, I tell you. But everyone, put your Casey emojis up. There we go. Make him feel welcome and not remotely disturbed by seeing his face all over YouTube. I guess technically forever now, isn't it, Casey? Your face is forever on you more. <laughs> Who's knocking a Lewis? Oh, love it. Love your work. Oh, David with extra Casey. Oh, toxic Casey. Oh, dear. Oh, one more lap. He says, no, surely not, Jeff. Come on. Practice is over already. Come on, everyone. Let's be serious now. Right, let's just scoop up the last remaining people. Right, let's just check the Discord quickly for anything unusual. Um, oh. Let's just green light, green light. Go, go, go. And there right. we go. Yes, I'm just going to tell as well. Can we please put a message out? No one go on track in the server. That'd be yeah, wonderful. I'll drop it now. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so Ian, the floor is yours, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, drivers briefing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's race is brought to you by the Sim Cafe and is a prologue to the first dance series. Uh, just in case somebody finds it easier to read along i should be streaming this on discord at the same time for qualifying build and fresh will start immediately after this briefing and last 20 minutes pro will start qualifying after 20 minutes for 15 minutes 
For build and fresh, you must stop when passing the finish line after 20 minutes and before passing the pit exit. Use return to garage to exit. This is to prevent you from interfering with the pro cars which will be leaving the pit lane. And please, no racing during qualifying. Give yourself space at the start of hot laps. We'll try and make some announcements to help with qualifying. So there'll be one for the start of quali for build and fresh, end of quali for build and fresh, and start of quali for pro. Formation will be the full track. Uh, you can drag your brakes, uh, your brakes to warm them up but please stay in your starting slot. No driving through others with abandon. Race will start automatically on conclusion of qualifying and run for one hour. Restarts will not be made for driver incidents. They may be applied by admin for server faults. So there's no rescue here, guys. You've got to behave yourself. Normal ACC penalties and in-game stewarding will apply. Some specifics on driving for blue flags, GT3 rules apply. It's the responsibility of the faster car to pass cleanly and the slower car to not defend. For safety in this being a community race, the slower cars shall allow a faster car passed if it shows intention within one lap. And also faster cars should wait until they find a suitable passing spot. Double yellows signify that a car is stopped on track. Please lift and take caution. Uh, yeah, there'll be special penalties for people who just plow into accidents. Meatballs signifies a car so damaged it must rep uh, return to pits. Do this within the lap you are on. If needed, use return to pit safely off track. First corner, be prepared to brake. More than 50 metres early, the cars will concentrate as they approach the corner, pushing midfield braking points further and further back. You've been warned. And tip, for those at the back of the grid, you'll drastically improve your position by driving overly cautious in the first lap and not having to go into pits for repair. It's a long race. First lap. Incidents on the first lap are a bane of multiplayer online sports. As such, the penalties will be higher. Remember, you all have put a lot of time into preparing for this race, and it's extremely unfair to take that away from somebody. In-game chat must not be used. Safe rejoin. If you do go off, hold the brake and wait for a safe space to rejoin. Use the track map to help with that so that you have a clear view. And anyone violating these rules on the first lap is going to get a drive-through. Prolonged driving backwards. <laughs> Don't do it ever. The game will disqualify you. And pit entry. Some may not be as confident going into the pits. So please leave a reasonable gap for unexpected early braking. Penalties, all the race penalties will be given by stewards in race. The race organizer reserves the right to disqualify drivers from the series for unacceptable community behavior and language. And other than that, I'll just say in the words of Michael Conrad, let's be careful out there. That will show your age if you know where this one comes from. Have a great race and please now go to qualifying. Excellent. Thank you very much for that, Ian. Yes, everyone, qualifying will be uh, forwarded to right now. Uh, please will be safe out on track. Let's have some fun. Thanks for joining us for this test. Let's go. Okay, so I've disconnected from there. Uh, I might as well close Discord, to be honest. There we go. Um, right. Um, first of all, that was incredible, Ian. Thank you very much for that. That was awesome. Uh, really uh, solid, solid briefing. Didn't go on forever. Said everything that needed to be said. The briefings might get a little bit shorter as we go through. Who's tried to get out on track, bless him? Miles. Nice try, Miles. Um, the briefings are probably going to get a little bit shorter as we go through the series. Everyone will kind of know what we're saying. We don't need to repeat too much. Um, but yeah, that was a, a top-notch briefing. Nice and, and straightforward. Love your work, Ian. Thank you so much, guys, in the stewarding team. All right. 
Who's just trying to sneak out as well? Nice try. Right, so, uh, do you want me to forward it? I don't want to do it in case someone else is already doing it. Discord elevator music bangs, I've heard about that. Professional drivers, we do have some of the pro class in here. Yes, they are white. Uh, there you go. All the white numbers are the pro class. I'm in the grey class, which is build. And then the red guys are the fresh class, the newer drivers. I had a question. I know you do, Simon. You love questions. No more talking. No messages in chat. Uh, would Ian take bribes to give drive through to Jeff asking for a friend only during the charity races, I think. Uh, Toby says, would recommend everyone needs to be in voice chat so stewards can directly communicate warnings or pens. Yeah, in a perfect world, Toby, but we're all single drivers here, so a bit hard work, to be honest. Uh, it can be done. It can be. Colours again, please. No problem. White is the pro class. Grey is the build class. And red is the fresh class. Right. Start of our quality. Only semi-pros. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, Nigel. No, it's me and you, bro. We've got to do some good work here. We're up against some fast people. Right, let's let's drop the fuel, shall we? We've got 20 minutes. We've got 20 minutes. So I haven't got to put too much in it. So cool, says Clemente. It's awesome, isn't it? Am I still a pro? Has that been adjusted? No, you're still a pro, Toby. Don't worry. We may have a discussion this week about some of the classes, but I think, you know, we just got to do what we got to do, innit, now? Right, I'm going out. I'm in the build and the fresh class. So we're taking the first... 20 minutes of qualifying the pro class have got to sit this out and wait and the pro class get the last 15 minutes it is going to feel quite empty on track today because there's only 28 on the server today because this is a little extra event that people weren't required to join or really warned about to be honest i just thought i'd chuck it in to make sure everything's working i think it's definitely a good idea we'll feel a lot more confident on the day right let's put in a half decent lap should we tame let's go Obviously, the pro class now get to sit and watch our incredible lines and take some tips from it and then just, you know, emulate that and do even better. This new wheel's going to take a little getting used to. We're getting there. Yeah, it's pretty cool doing all this. Really enjoy it. Really adds to the racing, right? And we can do drop-in races. We can do fun stuff. We can do enduros. We can do LFM. We can do charity races. And we can also sometimes do a little bit of a serious competition with trophies on the line. Tonight is just a test event. There are no points, just to be very clear. We are just testing the systems tonight. We have to do a lot of things in the background, like server lists and so on. And uh, yeah, just getting the timing right as well, getting a feel for it all. Good. It's our first time doing this, right, ever. Also, we plan to do many in the future. Right, let's go. Let's do a lap. Let's do a banker lap. Yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. It's great to have you all here. Love having your support at the Sim Cafe. Uh, Zolder's not on the calendar, of course. That's why we're doing it tonight. I didn't want to use a track that was on the calendar. That'd probably be a bit rubbish. Uh, so we've just got a nice little test calendar track tonight. Uh, and I haven't driven Zolder in a while. And I've not really driven with his wheel before. So I've got a lot of uh, driver excuses, as Miles would say. And uh, yeah, it's just putting it all to the test tonight. Last night, we did not spin at the Nords. We did get punted for 52 seconds. That was a bit of a shame. But we didn't spin and we didn't bin it ourselves. So that was good. Let's see if I can just maintain that this evening and just slowly eke out a few bits of temps here and there to improve my times and get into some 29 somewhere. Underrated track. A little bit Clemente. It's definitely not very well known. Yet another track that was taught to me by a set of course of competition shown, eh? There's a lots of tracks in this game that I wasn't really aware of before. You know, being the usual kind of F1 fanboy, really a bit of rally. Didn't really know much about a lot of GT tracks around the world. Uh, and this is definitely a great track. And then, of course, you find out that Formula 1 used to race here and stuff. You're like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. But I do think it's great for racing.
Need to see if we can sneak into the 29s in quality. We've not done any practice here this week, unfortunately, so you're not going to expect too many miracles from me in chat. Sorry. But I'm definitely going to put in some laps for Monza this week. How's the new setup off Puny? It is incredible. But I'll be honest, not really used it much yet. Had a little bit of a go last night, live on stream at Nords, which was pretty intense. I said I was going to give you all my live impressions of it, and it was literally me driving it for the first time. Massive skip there. Thank you, ACC. Um, but yeah. It is pretty incredible. I just need to do a lot more laps on it, I think. It's a short answer. But the wheel and the base just feel perfect, really. I don't see how I'd ever need another one ever again. As long as it doesn't break, I might get myself a round wheel. But that would be about it. Otherwise, I'm pretty golden now, I'd say. For the older set, of course, uh, Evo. Coming out sometime this year, apparently. I'll probably want a round wheel for that. Otherwise... We are pretty good now, I'd say. This uh, does feel incredible. Oh, slow exit. We're going to get in the 29s, though. That's good. Not bad. We're going to find time every lap, hopefully. Interesting work there from Manx sitting on the edge of the exit. Or edge of the entry, sorry. Uh, race control needs to be on top of that. Correcting things like that, I feel a lot more confident with this wheel now. That's for sure. Rears are a little bit warm. Not ideal. There's a bit of a cut there. And Andy Burrows behind me. He's about to have his lap ruined. Uh, I think I'm going to get out of his way because my lap is already ruined. There you go, sir. No one behind, lovely. Hope I didn't ruin uh, Andy's lap there. And I dare say, I really am, it, well, I don't want to say expect, because we should never expect things, you know how that does things for our happiness. But I really am hoping for a very high level of sportsmanship, right, which means people not diving, really. I mean, racing, you've got to make the room, you've got to fight a bit, I get that, but also, you know, we're not going to be diving each other in reality. Um, if you do crash into someone, I would expect you to wait to give the place back. You're still going to get a penalty, of course, because you, he still lost the time. So you're going to get a penalty, but I would expect you to wait for the person you've not, even if it takes a while. Uh, rejoins, I'm not expecting any silly rejoins or snappy kind of, oh, let me get back on track, silliness that ruins everyone else's race. We don't need that. You know, just uh, a little bit more care because we kind of know each other a bit more now. We're getting to know each other more every week, right? And I dare say in a few weeks of Brands Hatch, we're going to see each other in the flesh, which could be crazy. But yeah, just a little bit more community in our racing to give it that extra bit of fun. Right. Okay, we have got to get our heads down for a better lap now because we are sinking down the leaderboards, if we're honest. We've probably got, yeah, we've got one, f two fresh in front of us. That's probably our target. But I did say some of us guys down the bottom have got fast tracks. I mean, look at Poop. Poop, if we had Watkins Glen in here, would be straight into the pro class, <laughs> fighting it out for a podium, probably. Luckily, we haven't got Watkins Glen here. But there you go. And here's why I want to race with you guys. Love it, Jace. Mate, just... It all takes time. We've been doing this for over a year together, right? So just join in our, our jumping races. I've shown you where on Discord you can find it all, right? So just join some of our dropping stuff. Get to know us all a little bit. Enjoy the experience. And then the next time there's a big event, make sure you get a seat. I will do some special events over the summer. One or two one-off ones. Maybe one. We'll see. It's a long summer. So a couple of special events in the summer. Little one-off bits here and there. not very fast uh, how long have we got left uh, nine minutes left in quali we're running out of fuel it should be all right uh, not really all right we've got time for 10 minutes left I think it'd be really good if the race control did like a 10 minute warning for or a five minute warning I feel left out oh Jace 
Well, you know what? That was always going to be the problem when I started doing series. Because, of course, the series have got to be sign-ups, right? And they've got to close it. So it's always, you know, like, I don't want an exclusive club. But to do the things we want to do, you have to do, at some point, something like this, right? These guys have been sandbagging, says Sidders. You're getting nervous. I'm P9, though. I should be. So, we have to, at some point, close it off. And we're still doing... Yeah, all right, Jace. We're still doing uh, drop-in races. So I'm going to do one on Monday next week and Wednesday. So Monday and Wednesday, you'll be racing with us. So don't give us too much of that. Right, I need to... Still getting used to my new wheel. Is my button still not... Yeah. Right. I don't know if anyone in race control is listening, but I'd recommend like a five minute warning probably for the end of quality for fresh and build. Eventually we'll get used to seeing how much time is left on the clock. But yeah, right. So I think the rears were a bit hot, weren't they? Let's go out and do a few more laps. How's the leaderboard looking? So we've got two fresh in front of us. That is Lee Weston, Dargo, and Andrew Dunn. Nice. And Beard's behind Dargo. Oh, no. Rivalry in the flat. Those two live together. It's brilliant to see. And then we have the, the pros and then the fresh further back. So it looks like the split is actually doing quite well. With Stormtrooper Dunn, who nearly made it into the build class. A bit further up the road. Stormtrooper doing brilliantly there. Well done. It's lovely seeing all this. We're going to start getting more and more data as well. Speaking of data, we need to find a way to capture the results effectively. So I'm going to make sure I get some screens. Someone remind me to get screenshots at the end of the race. That'd be cool. Right. Looks like we're going out for another little blast. There's a little gap on track. It is nice having the room on track. I mean, it's going to get a bit busier when we've got another probably 10, 12 cars on the server. Maybe about six, seven or more. Oh, Daniel, that is the meanest, funniest thing you've said all day. Can't believe Ian Thompson is in the fresh class. He should be in an even lower one. <laughs> Look, we've got him in the fresh class, all right? You leave him alone. If he puts in the laps, old Ian, if he puts in the laps in between, there's nothing stopping him getting a whole lot faster. I'll tell you that. I bet he's got the equipment. I bet he's got the equipment. Anyway, it is wonderful having you all here watching and in the chat. It's great having your support. Of course, all donations and memberships and so on all going towards funding, things like this. My solid gold trophies were not cheap, or are solid gold trophies, and also the Steam vouchers. The more you guys donate, the more we can give out. And I do want to do some donations in the last race for the stewarding team, so we can get them a little something for all the work they're doing, especially Ian, of course, for making this all happen. That's a terrible exit. And we've got Cooper just ahead of us. I probably need a bit more room. We've only got seven minutes left. About three, four laps. Let's go. Yeah, not very fast out of the first turn. Fast enough exit, but no news on the speed. Come on. Pretty tidy, but Delta is firm. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful there. Yeah, I'm a bit close to Coop here, it's not ideal. <gasps> wow. Interesting, not done that before. Right, what's coming on track? You. And then it's clear. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's still not clear. There's a bit of a gap after. Do you know what? There's not much of a gap. It's a bit annoying. The cards come around pretty quickly. Can I join on the inside of... Oh, he's invalidated. There's a little gap. There's an invalid in the gap. 
That'll do. Let's get back out on track and let's do some laps. Got yeah, a bit of space in front of us now, that's for sure. Don't do that in the race, Jeff. No. I didn't know that was a thing, Juan. I'll be honest. I don't remember getting launched there before. Hey, said Puny. Hi, hey, indeed. Toby said, that, well, that, that back chicane can eat you alive, clearly. No bunny hopping. Right, come on, guys. Five minutes left. A build fresh quality. Thank you very much, Race Control, for the message. Let's go. Five minutes left. We've got, what, two, three laps? Oh, thanks for telling me, Juan. We're Porsche bros, man. You've got to warm here, these things. You know what this car's like? We're having two fights here in ACC. One with everyone else, one with our car. Yellow flag ahead. Watch out in front. That felt better. Don't be on the brakes. ACC consistent suspension strikes again. Kaz, be nice. Come on, it's a great game. Oh, we're climbing a few temps, which is good because I'm down to P11. I think a few more of the uh, fresh class have asserted their authority on track. Just got to be very careful. I'm probably not taking the right line through there, but who cares, right? Should have held my foot on the throttle there. Can't really hesitate in qualifying, can you, Paul? It's a bit faster, but not a lot. We've only got a few laps to go. Oh dear, we've ruined that. Absolutely ruined the last turn. Wow. Come on. We've got some work to do here. It's better. That wasn't. There goes a tent or two. Can't help myself joking about that one. Yeah, I see you. Damn. One more lap. We've got one more lap one. I know. I've not done any practice, bro. I mean, and this is a new wheel. I don't think we should expect too much from me right now. And that's probably not a third gear turn either. But, you know, I'm just testing systems, Juanito. I've got a lot going on with this race. And the yeah, background stuff acceptable. making it all work, so just more happy to Oh those bumps. Those bumps are killer. Okay, who have I got here? I'm about to ruin someone's lap. That's beard. And then there's a nice gap. There you go. Sorry if I was in your way a little bit there, Mars, on the old apex. Let's go. Nice gap now, we're behind everyone. We need to do a better lap. We've got time for just about two laps, I think. So let's get in. Two minute warning, there we go. One more lap, basically. Focus, he says. Mate, it's not focus, it's practice. I've not done any, so, you know. And also, new wheel does feel... Oh, look, I'm over-breaking. Oh, no, I need to do this lap. Hold on. It's going to be such a slow start. Just enough for one lap. Here we go, guys. One lap. Can we do it? I mean, if not one, you're just going to see an amazing comeback in the race. So, don't worry. It's all going to come one way or another. That was a terrible T1. Terrible. Two tenths down. <laughs> Don't hate me, Juanita. Don't hate me. Yellow flag ahead. Be careful. Oh, three tenths. Ooh. Yeah, it's not looking good, bruv. Gained a ten. Two tenths. Be happy. Yellow flag in sector one. Lapping by native. How do you feel about that? Yeah, we'll be at the back. We've got some work to do. We're at the back of the build class. Oh. I was making space with Casey, but then the traffic came, so I kept slow until they all passed. Was okay? I heard you ask. Ooh. Um. No, I was saying, I, I think I said I don't want to 
Oh, no, you were sitting on... Uh, no, yeah, Mank, you're in the wrong spot, bro. Sorry. You were on, like, the entry to the turn. Anywhere but there. Go somewhere else. But, you, yeah, you were on, like, the entry to the turn, unfortunately. Or close enough. If you're close enough, it's trouble. Just find... There's a lot of places on the track you can hide that aren't on the racing line, basically. Juan, what? Hua, hua, hua. Come on. Give me a chance. I've been a busy boy. I'm arranging the whole thing. I've got a new wheel. I haven't, I haven't driven Zolder in the Porsche maybe ever. I didn't have a setup saved. So it seems I've never driven the Porsche here. I think I went back to the Lambo last time. Rolling slow, I kept wide and did go two wheels. Yeah. Yeah, it's not enough, bro. You need to be somewhere else on the track, basically. It's not a big deal, per se. Just try and avoid the, that sort of stuff. Just be somewhere else. Show the Neo, says Matt. Matt, fair enough. Um, I could unplug this. I don't know if that makes everything go bad, so I'm probably not going to do that. But it is here. You can see the top of it there. I only saw two or three cars coming, but there was more. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You were just, yeah. Second in class. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit, shall we? So, P1, Miles Clarkson, 28.3. Nice time there. Rarish, Ramonti, also in a Porsche. Only 13 hundredths behind. Mikey Vols, three tenths off that. Andy Mata, five tenths off. And Andy Burrow, just next to it, another five tenths. And then we've got the first of the fresh class. Well done, Andrew. Technically, pole. I'm living this through you, Jeff. Ah, oh, Juan. Porsche gang, you know it, Matt. Porsche gang. We're all in the Porsche, struggling away. And Juan. Juan likes the Porsche, by the way, Matt. Matt, if you're new here, make sure you join the Discord, fella. It's the last Discord you'll ever need to join. I promise they'll say join it. It all gets annoying. And don't forget to say hello. Oh, Kaz, how did you beat me again? This is getting annoying. Anon, how you doing? Rarish says pain. Yeah, I know, bro. You couldn't get pole. Uh, so, yeah, the first in pole for the fresh class is Andrew. And then we've got Beard and Simon. Then we've got second place in the fresh class, which is Lee. And then we've got Jay and then me and then Nige. I mean, you've got to say, so far, that class split is pretty good, isn't it? I know my face is a bit in the way of it, but it's basically grey and then red, more or less. It's Moon. Oh, hello, Matt. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Are you joining us on Monday night at Monza? Have you got a working pedal set? I mean, what's going on? We should probably go on board with a couple of people. Who should we pick? Who should we pick? Well, we've got high hopes for these two, haven't we? Knudsen and Richardson. Let's have a little look, shall we? Let's go. I'll take that, says Beard. Yeah, well done, bro. Let me zoom up a bit again. Hold on. There we go. It's the top of the board. Um, that was weak for me. Casey, you've not practiced here. What are you expecting? It's not... I mean, I'm, I struggled as well, bro. You've not done any practice here, have you? So, in that Nissan as well. So, you know, you shouldn't expect a lot, really. Uh, during quali, I let Matt Beard, Miles, and Mike V through, and they all spun off later in the lap. <laughs> oh, Dave, lots to learn about that, eh? Oh, dear. But here we are. We are into our first dance prologue event. Qualifying, practice thing. What if you want to call it? I don't know. It's quite cool, though, isn't it? I'm really enjoying this. You naming and shaming David? You naming and shaming David? Yes, it looks like he might be, Matt. It looks like that is actually happening. You know, it's more of a, you know, I'm in the fresh class, but look at these guys all binning it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm not far off being in the fresh class myself, am I? <laughs> hey, it's only been a year. No, look, I've got a lot of learning to do with my wheel, and I've got so many excuses. Do you know what? I'm going to put in the practice for Monza. I'm not letting this go down. I'm going to spend all week secretly lapping Monza. You know that. Well, I was very aware of who is behind and not holding them up. Nice one, Dave. Nice one, mate. That's what we need. That's all we need all the way through the series. Right. First lap is in from Knudsen. And it is a 128.3. We then have Clarkson with a 28.6. Sydney with a 28.8. He's got some work to do. And Dan Jama with a 29 flat. 8.9. 28.9. Nine. 28.9.7, I think. Look at this. It's all going on here. I should have had that extra screen where you just got me in the bottom corner. That'd be a lot easier for you guys, wouldn't it? I appreciated the pass. There you go. 
Look at the way he cuts that curve. I'm clearly missing out on a lot of stuff here. Mostly skill. The skill levels are low for me. All right, only 10 minutes left in quali. So these guys need to get their laps in. Let's get on board with the one and only Stevie Richardson. Coming up to do a time lap now. Blazing through the first turn in his car that I clearly haven't downloaded delivery for yet. Some things we still need to do. Is the pit stop a set time duration? It is a minimum 25 seconds, Nige. So you don't have to change tyres. But an hour around here, I probably would. You'll probably struggle in that first sector quite badly. So change tyres, do your fuel. The minimum time is 25 seconds. We didn't want to give anyone a fuel advantage. Unbelievable how close me and Miles are here. Yeah, it's great, bro. It's great to see. It really is. Let's have a look again at the top of the board. Oh, a bit bumpy there from the skyline. I think people found it quite easy to follow the instruction there with the quality, didn't they? And I've done that because, you know, although we are going to be on big tracks, it is a bit annoying when you're trying to do a qualifying and there's 45 cars driving around. You just don't get a space a lot of the time, especially at Brands Hatch, right? So here we are. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, when you finish the race, especially if you're a class winner, it'd be great to have you pop in the Discord for an interview. We'll see if anyone does that at the end. David, that's correct. Even for a 45-minute race, if you change tyres and lose five seconds, you'll probably gain about five seconds of lap time back, even in a 45. So for a mat for a one-hour race, yeah, you're probably going to gain about five seconds, I'd say, by changing tyres. Right. Oh, he's gone wide. Is he invalidated? He has. He's invalidated. Oh, he's P1, though, by half a second of a 27.7. Gee, Steve. Wow. Someone is keen to assert their glory here and win. Look at this big, big pro trophy. Look at that. That is a big pro trophy. I think he fancies it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to go and grab a, a refresh on my drink and go to the toilet, I think. I'll be back in two seconds. Enjoy the sights and sounds of Steve's smashing pole.
Hello, hello, hello. Hell no, says Andy Burrow. Andy, did you enjoy your qualifying? How'd it go for you, bro? Uh, Jay says, hello, Jeff and Chat. Good luck to anyone in the race. Yes, good luck indeed to everyone taking part. Toby, me and you can go through the uh, data uh, this weekend if you want and have a look maybe on Sunday and see where you are and what's going on. And uh, maybe. Uh, I'll miss the first race and won't be in contention for a trophy. Okay. Crystal Boss! Our first ever TSC boss, everyone. Boss is here. How you doing, Crystal? Hope you're well. Hope you enjoy the race. Uzair Khan asks, what's the code? What do you mean by that? Do you mean the password for the server? Because this is a locked race with an entry list, which was decided weeks ago. Sorry, Uzair. If you join the Discord, have a look at that. Really liking the format. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it, Andy? Uh, fancy one of these, eh, Andy? Uh, fancy? Anyway. Um, Uzair, uh, join the Discord if you haven't already, and then read. Uh, fair enough, bro. I mean, it's not hard work, but I get it. Uh, read at the top, ACC Community Races. Next week, it's Monday and Wednesday. Come on down, sir. That's what you mean by code. That's what I can give you as an answer. Monday and Wednesday next week. We normally do Wednesdays and Saturdays. Tomorrow's a big charity race that we're all taking part in. I appreciate the work you're putting in, just being silly in the chat. You are, aren't you, Toby? You're being really silly, but you're also the glue that holds us together in our 24-hour races. So you can be as silly as you like, sir. You've earned it. Right, there's only two minutes left. Knudsen, three temps behind Richardson at the front. We've then got Clarkson, Finn and Bolt. The pros are showing their teeth. Dan Jammer with a much better time. Sydney with an improved time as well. And Steve Bowles, Bose, Boti, Botter. I'm not sure. I need to chat to who that is. Siv, all the way back in P11 there. Are there any pros too far back now? No pros at the bottom. Look at the order of that. Great work, guys. I'll pretend I'm in rookies. Yeah, why not? Has Fipsy sorted his internet issues? It's a good question. I want to say no because he's not here and I bet he would be if it was. If he was happy with it. Toby wants to be fresh. Yeah, I bet he does. Rarish says, Toby, I got some Le Mans Ultimate setups and I saw you play it. You want them? <laughs> Why not? Why not, Rarish? Share the Le Mans Ultimate setups. I'm sure it makes the game a lot better. Right. Is anyone going to go out for a last minute lap or is it only the cars on track? Let us see. Exciting, exciting. I've got my first toxic waste of the day to come. Uh, we have, of course, got a full formation lap here at the Sim Cafe for our proper races. Can't make the game worse. <laughs> Rookies are cynic. Yeah, I know. How are you enjoying it down there? Where are you, Mass? You're right in the middle of your class. Love it, Mass. That's some good competition there, bro. Les Hallett says, admin, thank you, Les. Sorry about that, guys. We need to talk to our race control about getting that fixed. Hello. Oh, I missed it, Kaz. You're on fire tonight, man. And Andy. I'm just sitting here in third place like a chump. I'm happy with my time. Nice one, Cynic. Well, you have been doing a bit of practice here, haven't you, this week? I remember you saying, so you're probably a bit more confident than I am. I'll tell you that. I am just chucking it every lap. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, 38 seconds left. We've got car number one, Bolt, doing a lap. Can he improve? Car 153 is also on track. Siv. Why is my mouth so dry? Am I really nervous? It's quite exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I did some practice. Nice one, bro. Practicing so you can steal this, huh? The Fresh Class Trophy. Love these trophies. It's better than I've ever done around here, says David. Well, David, are you going to be doing some Monza practice this week, Dave? Are you going to get yourself a bit more speed there? It's all in your hands. <sighs> Hello, Jeff. Hello, cool chat. Oh, Tugebeck. Aren't they cool? It is a cool chat, to be fair. To be fair, you didn't get that wrong. He's a cool chat. Yay, Monza. I need to if I don't want to be lost. <laughs> there is that. You were very close by on practice a few hours ago. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be awesome, Marge. First race next Saturday at Monza. And we're in. That's it, start of the series. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. We've still got an hour of this to get through tonight. Looks like things are gonna go well. Cool Chat is my other middle name. Real Stone. No, I just thought you started screaming. I thought it was quite exciting. I thought a bit of passion was coming out there. Temple of Speed. Nigel knows all the high, the highs, the history, the who. 
The who? To get your words out. Are these two still doing a hot lap? Oh, Bolt put himself P3 with that one, I think. Wasn't he P5? It was. It was a perfect accident. Bolt with the fast lap at the end, though. No? Right. We better sort out our pit stop strategy here. Nice knows all he really does, Dave. He's a wise, wise man. Uh, I hope you two get a chance to race together soon on the LFM Sundays or uh, maybe in a, a Nord Slice Saturday. That'd be cool. Right. So we need... 60. That'll get us quite a lot, won't it? Hold on. 20 laps. And then... I mean, it's a one hour race, so I'm probably going to. I feel like that's appropriate. <laughs> now I'm nervous about my tyres. I'm going to pump those up like I've done something wrong. 55 and 55 should be fine. Well done, 60 50, so there. Good luck, has fun races, says Small Town Cynic. T1 through 4 will be fun to watch. Yeah, it will. P2 for Bolt. P2? No way. Did you just get P2? <gasps> Faster than Knudsen. Knudsen's got a bit more of a challenge than he might have thought he had around here. He might have thought, oh, I used to, I'm used to winning in these communities. We've got some fast people, Knudsen. And that ain't everyone in pro either. There's a few pros who ain't here. I'll tell you that. Who's there to join the Discord? Oh, mate, did you listen to anything else I said? Because <laughs> I haven't got all the day to explain it, unfortunately, who's there. This is a closed race. Our next community drop-in race is are Monday and Wednesday next week. Please join us. This is on PC, right? I'm assuming you're on PC as well, bro. It'll be great to have you on track Monday and Wednesday. If you look at the top of the server, ACC Community Races. I keep it up to date. Don't worry, Jakob. I'll bin it. Yeah, all right. Nice try, Steve. No one believes you. Right. We've got a full formation lap coming up, everyone. Enjoy. Nice one, is there. Nice one. When Monday and Wednesday next week. Uh, Monza and Mount Panorama, everyone. Wednesday night, we're at Mount Panorama. That's going to be fun. 30 seconds. Not going to lie, class is stacked up nicely. What can I say, Case? What can I say? It's what I do. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. We're here to test. I could have done a bit of that myself. That might have made seconds. it even more uniform. But there we go. Right. Good luck, everyone. Enjoy the formation lap. Let me get my camera sorted out. Be safe, says one. Good idea, mate. The stewards. We've got live stewarding in this race, everyone. And they are watching. I'll tell you that. Watching, watching, watching. Oh, I need to put my subs between my Going pedals and five. my face, don't I? No point leaving it out there. Anyway, whatever. Good luck, everyone. Prologue for the first dance. Let's do this. Great to have everyone in chat. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Here's the Discord link yet again. There you go. And uh, don't be shy. Say hello in the chat if you're somebody who lurks a bit, doesn't normally talk too much. We're a friendly bunch. Come say hi. I think we're a friendly bunch. Okay, looks like the formation lap works because trust me, there's a lot of numbers and settings you have to do in the server that don't look very logical, but if you get it right, you're okay. Here we go. 28 cars for the prologue. Love it. We're going to have, uh, hopefully, well, it's 45 signed up. We'll hopefully have at least 38, 40 for the first race. That'd be great. Kill, kill, kill. One of these. I wonder if that clutch's in the right place sometimes. I'm going to lower it a bit. You can drag your brakes a bit, and that warms up the brakes. So you can see in the bottom right, my brakes are the blue and purple blocks on the inside of my tyres next to the speedo. So... I can drag the brakes, hold the brake and the accelerator, and it'll warm them up a lot quicker. There we go, makes a lovely noise. There we go. Brakes are warmed up. When the brakes heat up, they heat up the tyres from the inside. Little ovens cooking the tyres. I made him go a bit yellow there, it's not going to. Not involved in TFD, he's not, no, unfortunately our US friends don't always find it easy to take part. What's the temperature, says, uh, ooh, hold on. 
Um, I need to get used to my buttons. 23 degrees air. 23 degrees air temp. This is thankfully one of the shorter formation laps in the world. I wish we could do more to accommodate our American friends, but maybe a Sunday one one time. Might do a Sunday championship one day. That might make it easier for some of you. Right, let's go. I'm about to pop a little bit of toxic, I think. Really looking forward to this race. Should be fun. The culmination of over a year of building up this community from zero. Online. Here we are with a full stewarding. Everyone signed up. We've got briefings. You name it. Great. Gotta love it. Let's go, team. The first dance prologue event. Zolder, 60 minutes. Fingers crossed for a clean one. Say hell no to that. Beat you, Kaz. Ha! Finally. Green line. Give it all you got. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Those brakes came on quick there. Oh, me and Nige did brilliantly Car to avoid right. that. I think it's Nige. Clear on the right. I'm not sure who's in the front. No, I think it's Matt. Might be Matt Beard. That was incredible work there, both of us. Not crashing into the car that was spinning. I'll try and settle in a bit now. didn't realise it's Zolder. It gets pretty busy at that chicane. Definitely Riku. We love seeing you on track with us. Dear me. That's poor from me. I need to break so much earlier there, I'm being very stupid. Anyway. Yeah, it was close, Toby, too close. Let's get a bit more speed and catch this pack again. We're two and a half seconds behind Beard, let's catch him. No more whoopsies. No more reading chat in appropriate time. It's all your fault. I need to move to the UK here. Well, Juan, I didn't want to say it, but you know. We are behind Jay Sullivan. Same class. Both of us behind Gibbons. Chris Gibbons, I think it is Chris. Carl, sorry, Carl. What am I saying? Marley Diesel. We might be streaming this. And he's doing very well in front of us right now. Let's get settled in, team. We've got a long way to go. Keeping up with Jay here. Let's 
It's going to be very dangerous following him into this next chicane. Very dangerous. Because you've got a break almost when you're turning, and it's quite a high speed turn as well. And I haven't got the right line through that chicane. Let's go. We've got to be as consistent as possible here, really. Tyres are pretty good. Up at the front is Richardson, Bolt, Knudsen as they qualified. No, Bolt's got... Yeah, no, he's P2, wasn't he? So they've gone out as qualified. Say hello. I think Kaz has got that one. Or not. It's been left wide open. Had to sneak that one in, team. So we're still keeping up with this pack here. Let's see if we can capitalise on anything. Slow car ahead. Slow car up ahead. Someone's gone off. Who is it? It's done. From the fresh class. That's the problem with these fresh guys. They might be fast, some of them, but you uh, get the, the feeling right. they might end Here up the right. having the occasional incident. Long way to go in this race. It is an hour. Maybe tomorrow I'll hop on the rig for a first time in a couple of weeks. That'd be awesome, bro. Uh, Monday night and Wednesday night we're racing together next week, Riku. You can fancy it on the drop-in stuff. Monday and Wednesday. Monza and Mount Panorama. Oh, mate. Any excuse? Sorry, Kaz. I was... I was in the middle of a turn myself. Still made it happen. Oh, hello, says Pavel. How you doing, Pavs? Best streamer, stream viewer on YouTube. Hey, Harry and Bella are watching. That is incredible to hear. Harry and Bella, good evening. I am having a very exciting moment here racing two cars. I've got to be very careful. I'll say hello. How you doing? Ah, scary. Hope you're having a really good weekend, kids. And I look forward to seeing you again soon, I'm sure. Yeah, here we are racing at Zolder in my cup. I've created a league. You'd think I'd win the league I created, wouldn't you? But no, there's far too many very talented people in the series. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Oh! Do you know what? I wasn't going to take the place off Sullivan, but he got himself a bit stuck there. I was going to let him go through. But he was a little bit stuck, so... See how I snuck through there, guys. Got a couple of positions. Again, attrition is a thing in racing. You've just got to keep putting in those good laps. We've got Marley up ahead in the... Fr McLaren? Hold on, I'm getting confused now. Huh? Oh, that's not good. We need to stop doing that about that turn. We need to focus. Um, yeah, it's Carl Gibbons is Marley, right? I thought he's in a Ferrari normally. He's in the McLaren now. Maybe I got that wrong. Right, let's up, our, let's up our race pace a bit. We've got a nice open bit of track now. Ooh, penalties. Good to see. Good to see penalties being dished out. I'm not good to see penalties, of course, but good to see that justice is being served on the racetrack immediately so that it comes in before the... Um, is he always in the Macca? Thank you, Patrick. Sorry, I didn't know. Hey, Harry Bella. Uncle Jeff making a mess. Toby! I'm not making a mess. Give me a chance. We will get there, and we will catch the guy the head. Carl and Nige. Three, four seconds. Come on. Let's put in some big laps. Time to dig in now. Yeah, I've taken way too much curb there. Or well, not enough, I should say. I've used, yeah. Anyway.
15 seconds, it must be big. That's right, Kaz. Well, I did see someone come pinballing through, so I'm not too surprised. Suffice to say, there will be no appeals after the race for penalties or things like that. No. Nope. We're just going to be straight up. What happens in the race happens. So I didn't see a penalty, that's a shame. And if you got one you didn't like, that's an even bigger shame. But trust me, they're doing the reviews and they make the decision. And they're probably not going to be right all the time, are they? If you think about it, they're not robots. Just part of racing, but at least we've got it happening. It's ten times better than the alternative. My car died. Oh, you're joking. What do you mean? What do you mean your car died? Do you mean lots of damage? Oh, Woodcut and Gibbons in a fight. That's going to slow them both down. We love it. Two seconds away now. We're putting in the solid laps and look, they just come to you. They just come to you. Are we going to get a 29 on the race pace? Go on. Looking that way. One second to these two. Ah, rubbish for the last turn. Rubbish for the last turn. Oh, we're not getting into 29s yet. 31s and 2s for the fighters ahead. Love to see that. Starting to get a bit more familiar with the car now. On the track, I should say. Mm, should be a bit more power there. That's not a third gear turn, that's slow. Ooh, are we catching Nigel? Is he trying to return serve on Carl? Next week, LFMS Spa. Yep. New wheel here yet? Yes, that's what I'm using right now, RMK. Great to see you in chat. Oh, that's a bit fast. I'm using the GT Neo and the Alpha Mini, and it is incredible. It really is. I've got to get used to it. It's uh, a lot of new feelings and sensation, but they sure are good ones. Oh, that's again rubbish through there. Rubbish through there again. Right, we'll have a look at the leaderboard. I think I'm P4. So I think there's a podium there for me. If I can keep up with Nigel and get him. I think Andy's getting a little bit out of the way now, unfortunately. Eight seconds. He's got a good pace. Probably better than me each lap. Toby says, break just before the blue bridge. Good idea. I knocked the ignition, it won't switch back on. You what? Are you sure? Sorry to hear that, bro. Well, I'll tell you what, Carl, in the car number 69, just ahead of us, the McLaren, is leading the fresh class at the moment. And I see, looks like Nigel putting a bit of pressure on him again. Up front, Richardson, Knudsen, Bolt. Looks like Knudsen's taken Bolt. 29 without even thinking about that. Hell no for Kaz. 
That was easy, really, wasn't it, Kaz? I don't know how I got that 29. I was not really focused properly. That was poor as well, two temps. <sighs> Coach Toby. <laughs> oh, Brew Bridge. Yeah, no, that's what I was trying to do before, but it wasn't working. Kept overdoing it. He wrecked it. We're to put in some laps here. Catch up with Woodcut and Gibbons. They're slipping away again. Oh, 29s and 30s. Their pace has improved as well. We might be on to something here. Might be onto something here. Poor, really poor there. That's annoying. I feeling me and Nigel are going to be fighting all season. I'm going to have to do some laps somewhere to get ahead of him. It's uh, interesting. I think we'll quickly get some yard markers. Ooh, a bit of rough there from Nigel. Not enough to unsettle him, though. Right. Front tyres are a bit warm. Sorry, left side. I might cool them a little bit in the pit stop. Better. Come on, let's do a fast lap. On Nearly 20 minutes into the hour race. Put a little bit of pressure on Niger. And this is the thing, when you get really good close community racing with stewarding and everything, you can get these really intense battles where you're just trying to eke out a bit of time on the guy ahead and squeeze him a bit, get a bit of pressure on him or lose someone behind you. Dan lost it last lap, turns out he's not a wizard. Ah. Oh. Poor Dan. Well, meanwhile, we've done a 29-6 in the race. There we go. It is possible. We can go fast in this thing. Oh, we're working out the second turn a bit better. We're engaging the boost drive. Looks like we've got Woodcut in our sights. Is he blocking the inside? I think he is. Okay, I'm getting outside then. He's taking the defensive line. He's going to be bumpy, bumpy. 
We've got a bit of a drive. Let's go, go, go up the hill. He's not going to squeeze us out, surely. We've got a little bit of inside here, but not enough. Has he got a good line through there? He's a bit wavy. And we might have the inside. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Ooh, great battle there. Good work, Nige. Oh, meanwhile, Gibbons ahead goes wide. Time to apply some more pressure. I don't think he's really going to have right. the room there to come Clear in, but I'll right. make it nice and wide. There we go. He's got to be worried. He's got Simon behind him now. Very close. I did not see Simon. Let's go. Now we've got to apply some pressure to Marley. He's had a bit of a wobble last lap. As soon as you do that, your confidence gets a bit of a change. That all comes off that 29.6, doesn't it? Crazy. Big correction there on the DD. Nice, Jeff says Pamonte. Cheers. JH says nice, thank you. Oh, Nigel Wood's back though. He wasn't happy with that. He wants his place back. Sorry, Nigel, I really like it up here. Leave me alone. I don't think I need to defend the inside here, but he's getting close. He's getting close. Let's get out of here. Come on, we need to do another 29.6. Hot pace. Hot pace in the first dance. Oh, that's not good work. We'll just have to take a little speed token there. Apparently not. Come on. I'll try and get an update on the rest of the race for you guys in a moment. <gasps> oh, and he's got Simon Lowe alongside him now, Nice, It's a nightmare. Uh, we've got P1 Ramonti from Clarkson. Go on, Rarish. Trying to stake some authority on the build class already. Can't do that, Jeff. That is slow. That is slow. Okay. Gibbons getting away from us. Can't let that happen. We're nearly halfway with 38 minutes left. Let's see if we can catch up with Marley Diesel. That's better. We were three tenths up here one lap, weren't we? Flying. Uh, no, no. I think people pitted. Yep, Juan, definitely. I saw some of the fresh class in there, I think. Not very clean. We need to be clean. I wonder if there was any warnings. That's a bit cleaner. 2.5 to Marley. That's a bit silly. Sometimes one has the first gear out there. Second seems a bit soft. Simon Lowe, Flint Westwood, I think it is. Um, definitely hanging in there behind me. I'm going to have to be careful of that. Don't want him to cause us any trouble. Oh, Gibbons with a nice 30.3. Let's catch the mile. We might be pitting soon, to be honest. But we can still try and catch him. No! It's annoying. I do enjoy trying to balance T2. It's a lot of fun. It is a weird turn that you can't really see. You just kind of guess a little bit. Oh, not very good there through T4. I think it's T4. Probably. Anyway. A oh, couple of attempts on Marley here. Let's go. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves watching the race. I will try and give you as much perspective on the race as I can next time I hit a little straight. There you go, have a read. P1 
P1, Richardson from Nudson, 3.8 seconds back. P1 in the build class is Rarish from Miles. And then P1 in the fresh class is directly in front of us here, Carl Gibbons. Who, interestingly, I'm not really racing for points, but, you know, we're racing. The guy behind there, we're definitely racing for points. Toby with some wonderful fuel facts there. Thank you, Toby. As of now, you need 55 litres to finish. Roger, 35 minutes left. Don't need too much then. Not great racing there. Flint's going to be all over me. Just racing for science. Thank you, Pavel. Oh, five second penalty. Interesting. Me using all the track there in front of Flint. Oh, five seconds for Flint. Well, Flint. Got to be careful, buddy. That's going to hurt you when you come out of the pits. Maybe I should pit before Flint comes near me. That was scary. We held it. That was scary. Can't do that too many times. So it's, it's a good thing this race isn't on the calendar, because <laughs> not that great here. Slow car ahead. Car on the right. Clear on the right. And that was Lee Weston Dargo coming out of the pits. He's done his pit stop. He's now going to be in a bit of traffic. I don't know how it's going to affect his race. We'll see, that's the problem with pitting a bit earlier here. Especially on a short track like this. You pit early and you're going to probably be blue flagging quite a lot no matter what you're doing, what class. And let's face it, when you're blue flag, you've probably got to get out of the way. Lap times are hurting. Okay, we are nearly up to halfway in the race now. It's been a wonderful race so far. We were trying to catch Gibbon and then we we're like, you know what? We'll let Gibbon do his own race because we're not in the same class. I'm racing Andy Burrow ahead of me, but he's a good 15 seconds. Andy is loving life up there, much faster than me. What are we doing about pitting? We've got loads of laps left of fuel. We'll do a few more laps, I think. Let's get back to our fast laps. That's a slow lap there. Not good. And we've got the two guys fighting just ahead of us, who we definitely want to be ahead of, and now we're not. Not ideal. Flint. Car on the right. Martin, leave room there, bro. Clear on the right. Now we're going to have to do an overtake on Nige all over again. Oh. This isn't rally, no it's not one. It's definitely not. Oh dear, Car Flint. On the right. Clear on the right. Flint. Car on the left. Clear on That's the not left. how we race, buddy. <sighs> You've already got a penalty, bro, think about it. Okay, thinking about a pit stop soon, get clear of these guys. Dangerous. 
Nige is flying again. Hello, Nige. Suddenly found some extreme pace. He does, doesn't he, Juan? Not ideal, bless him. Apparently he wanted to ask a question in the briefing. It clearly was it, can I dive bomb people? Yeah, Juan, I guess. But, you know, that's the thing about following people is you've got to take extra care, right? So the last time you miss your breaking point is when you're behind someone. Well, there you go. That's just my uh, humble opinion. You won't see me often miss my breaking point behind someone. Not often. I'll take extra care. Ride the, ride the curbs, take the lines, find the moment to attack. Not just dive, because I'm excited. Low Finn to dive for sure. Hello, Case, you're in the chat. Why are you here, asked one, in a really friendly tone. Why are you here? Yeah, look, me and Nigel are going to be fighting all race here. We're now within a second of each other again, more or less. 30.529.9. Had a phone call, kids off the bus. Fair enough, bro. Thank you for coming and testing out your driver entry. I'm assuming everything was working perfectly fine. So, nice one, bro. And we'll see you next Saturday. Big Monza. Come on. Hello, hello, hello. Hell no. Oh, dear. Height. Oh, look at him. Hell no from me. That was a slip up. Ignore that, team. Okay. We are more than halfway through now. We've got to keep Nigel in our sights. We've got to have a really good pit stop. See if we can snipe a little position off him. Agreed, Juan. Here we go, I need to check my fuel out. I've got a horrible little pit box at the front. <laughs> Let's make it work. Oh, Rarish is going to go right in front of me, isn't he? Is that Rarish? It's a 
Pause with the Oh, that's a terrible stop. Oh no. Nigel's gonna get me. Let's pop a little toxic. Oh, stop go 30 for Mars. Someone's had a bit of fun in the pit lane. We popped our way. 25 minutes left. Not sure where we're gonna come out here, but we've got a bad stop, unfortunately. Let's try and maximize our exit here. Terrible. Carl Gibbons ahead of us, no! Let's catch him. Simon is indeed five seconds behind. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful there. Oh, David. Not having fun with Zolder. Here we are, Marley, finally. Car on the right. Clear on the right. We've got Jay three seconds ahead of us. We need to catch him. Did he not swap tyres? He's going to suffer for that. Especially on this track. There we go, guys. There's the leaderboard. Oh, motorhead. Got it. Good stint. Yeah, cheers, Toby. It wasn't the worst. I mean, a few dodgy moments, but we dodged a few bullets as well. One or two overtakes. Bit of fun. And again, I've not done any practice here, so I can't really expect anything. Lemmy's here. Yeah, I guess so, Pavel. Rift his soul. There's a car leaving the pit lane. Watch out. Who is it? Or is it Nige? No! Look at him, he's miles ahead. He had a much better pit stop than me. He's now two seconds ahead. Uh, let's catch him. Let's catch him. One second. We want to catch him and Sullivan ahead. Can we do it? We've got 20 minutes. Not going to be easy. I guess it was never meant to be, was it? Nigel with slightly fresher tyres out of his lap. My tyres a bit warmer. On perfect PSI, really.
29.8 lap or 29.9, no slouch. Lost a lot of time there, it's a shame. The clean X here might have put us alongside him there. 20 minutes to go. Me and Nige fighting all night. Could be fighting all series. Twenty minutes to go, first warning, I'll take that. Let's not get any more. Bad exit from Nigel. Can we do anything about it? No, not here. Definitely kept it close through the last turn, make him a little bit nervous. You don't get much closer than that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, have we got something? Saw that big skip coming, managed to catch it. Can't find the space to get Nige though. We will have a point system in the actual races of the series. Yes, come on T. Right now, no. I mean, we'll apply them for what it's worth, I guess, but no, not really much point. We'll just see race position. Point start next Saturday. This is just a little test event to give us a chance to test all the systems, make sure it all works. And right now, big thumbs up. Big thumbs up, everything seems to be working great. Been a few issues tonight behind the scenes. So of course we get those sorted and next week everyone has a good time, including me hopefully, because running these things. I don't know if you've ever hosted a party before or even just a dinner or something. Like, you don't get to enjoy too much when you're spending so much time making sure everything else is okay, right? So, aside from actually having to stream the thing as well, I am also organizing and running it all. So, just trying to make sure everything works. Seems like it. Very happy so far, really happy. Obviously it helps I'm using this incredible new direct drive wheel from Sim Magic, the Alpha Mini with the GT Neo wheel on it. Car on the left. We try to Neo squeeze the Nigel of our exit, let him know we're not letting him have an easy one. But he's pulling away in that Aston. I'll tell you, this exit now is going to be everything. Five second penalty causing collision. Oh, Nigel's doing really well here. Come on, 17 minutes left. Sullivan's still only three and a half ahead. I don't know if Nigel's holding me back here. His exit from the turns is good. He's slow in, fast out is our Nigel. Very sturdy, very safe pair of hands. Bit of curb there. That gonna make it. Oh, there's me rocketing over the curbs, and my friend Nige doing something similar. We're both getting a bit ragged here. It's only gonna give Jay a chance to pull away, as he rightfully does. Damn, Jay's killed us there. We have to talk to Jay about strategy. We both missed the apex here, and Marley behind us also takes a little wide visit. Whoopsie. Let's go. Come on. Yellow flag ahead, who's that? Don't know. I think it's the pit lane sometimes does a weird yellow. Jay didn't just bin it, did he? Hold on. No, he's up there. Oh, 
Got to get Nige. What are we going to do? We've got Marley closer behind. Yeah, we're not going very fast here. 15 minutes left. Marley looking left and right. Not here, sir. Appreciate you looking, though. Thirty point one for Sullivan ahead, not a bad time at all. He's comfy up there, I think, for now. Have a pit stop there. If I'd had a cleaner pit stop, we might have been just ahead of Nigel. And that's all it takes sometimes. Just be slightly ahead of your position. Track position can be everything. That was not good, but we'll take it. We didn't get a track warning for basically cheating. You didn't see that. Don't know why I didn't get a trap warning there. <sighs> Just the luck we need, I think. We're gonna need some luck here. Up at the front, Richardson from Nudson and Clarkson. What happened to the bolt? Ah, uh, Woodcoat getting away now. Nightmare. Uh, Ramonti still ahead of Clarkson for the top of the build class. Sullivan's slipping a little bit. Are those tyres starting to show their age? Did he not pit to try and get ahead of us and now he's going to start suffering? 12 minutes. Only one way to find out. Me and Nigel got to put some pressure on him. think he might be slowing up a bit. Interesting. Big warm welcome to everyone watching this evening. I hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying the Sim Cafe wherever you are. And uh, if you haven't already, do join our Discord. It's where everything goes down. And the Discord is there. If you don't know what Discord is, it's just a simple way to keep in touch with people. Hold information, all that kind of stuff. Chat, voice, voice channels, you name it. It's quite useful. It's all free. You get your phone or PC. Last Discord you'll ever need to join. Thank you, Juan. If you are familiar with Discord, you're probably familiar with going... People going, join my Discord, join my Discord. And you'll be like, all right, mate. I've kind of joined it up now, seen them all. But honestly, ours is the last you'll ever need. Maybe after you join Casey's, I'm not sure. Jay Sullivan might have had a bad lap, but he's maintaining now, so I don't think the tyres were an issue. I don't know if he changed tyres, because he kind of let frogged all of us, I think. Pretty sure... Pretty sure that was a... Off a of tyre not being changed. I don't know. That was a terrible, terrible line there for that turn. Do not copy me. Yeah, bad turn there. Lost Woodcut. Gibbons gained on us. Better don't twitch. It's a mess. Yeah, sure is. 
Sure is, buddy. Mm, we're all having a bad lap and Jay's putting away again. Just over 10 minutes to go in our hour race. Been an awesome battle. Makeway, thanks for subscribing. That's what you do, Makeway, when you subscribe. You make me excited. We do not want to lose any more places. Wow, P1 just behind us. Are you joking? That is incredible. The speed of these leaders is just obscene. And he has pit, doesn't he? We're going crazy here. Oh, tires are a bit hot. Go on, bro, off you go. Car on the left. Server temperatures are a bit higher. You can't park there, Juan. You're getting all sorts of trouble. All sorts. So our fight with Woodcut is in the bin for now. Turns out we're the ones who binned it. Now the tyres feel a bit... Incredible that Steve is that far ahead. Look at that. P1 flying away. But yeah, thanks for joining, mate. Way. We won't blame you for that one. Although, you know, it's kind of your fault. We've got Flynn behind us now. No! Oh, nightmares. Here we go. Thank you, David. Clear on the Cheers, right. mate. Clear on the right. Keep cracking, bro. Not long to go. Flint right behind us. He means business. That is for position in the build class. You can see in the bottom left, he is a grey car number, as am I, which means we're both in the same class. Steve doing a 28.8, jeez. Crazy guy. <laughs> Silly Jeff, look where you're going. Terrible. He's going to get me now. Car on the right. Terrible. On the right. We're still alive, though. We're still alive. We're still alive, gang. I expect Flint will now zoom off down the road.
Really wiped out Flint there. Don't want to do that. She gone a bit slower there. He's a bit slower than I expected. Cut it. <laughs> a little bit. Come on, we've got to catch him. Got to do it for the fans. Do a decent lap. Come on. Been a very sloppy last few minutes in this race. Very sloppy. Four minutes left. Flint's getting away from us. I'm not putting in good laps right now. I need to be about a second quicker than this. Oh dear. I can catch them in a DD wheel. So at least I'm not dying. Well, I am trying, aren't I? Friendly reminder guys, if you haven't already, join the Discord. Just the best Discord out there. We do all the kind of cool racing that you always wish you could do. And team racing. And me the calamity sometimes. I'm starting to wonder if I should be in that skyline, you know, one. Your blinker is on, thank you. Thank you, Clemente. I have a weird habit of uh, sometimes pushing it at the moment, it seems. Probably easy to clip it. Thanks for letting me know, that is annoying to other drivers. Yeah, they're all getting away from me now. I've lost my pace. We're going to bring it home. No damage. Results are preliminary here at the Sim Cafe, because of course... We do need to check any last lap incidents that need penalties. How's it been, asked Poop? Poop, it has been really, really good racing and really high pace. Oh boy. No one too slow, bro. I'm being beat by some fresh right now. Well, one fresh actually, the fresh class winner at the moment. Marley, can Marley bring it home for P1 in fresh class? Rarish was P... Oh, battery low in my headset, that's exciting. Rarish was P1. He is still P1. And Miles has dropped back a bit, I think. So yeah, Rarish P1. And in the main class, Stephen is P1 from Knudsen. Carlos lose anything. Yeah, it is JH. And also, I'm a bit rubbish, don't forget. But yeah, I think, I don't know, me and the Porsche, our love affair might just come to an end at some point. I did start enjoying the skyline. What shall I see? I've got a few days to think about it.
But yeah, we'll bring it home. Oh, a penalty for P3. Let's just bring it back. Yeah, P3 got a five second penalty. Great to see the stewarding happen. Uh, Eric, not very well, I'll be honest. I've been a bit, uh, bit woo, bit wee, bit wah. Uh, missed my braking a few times and just ended off on the outside of turns. Not been very pretty, but we're still going. We're still good. The competition itself has been amazing. The classes are looking pretty even on the numbers. If you look white, gray, and then black. So white, gray, and then red. So that's really cool. So overall, it's been an amazing night. I am actually in a bucket of sweat right now, which I don't normally get from sim racing. So that'll tell you. But here we are. Over the line for our prologue event. Done. Congratulations to everyone who's taken part there and finished. 20 second lead for Richardson at the end. That is crazy. Okay, let us let us see what we have to do. Do I have to do any clever stuff? Right, so lesson is don't drink, use substances and drive. Keep it clean. Pretty much, mate. Uh, Juan to GG's everyone. Damn right, Juan. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing work from everyone. Right. How do I get the definitive finishing positions that's what i want to know because there's a million ways this works and it's not always straightforward is it so let's see Okay, I think everyone is in, right? No, nope. still people to come in. Okay. Now, if I go to replay and HUD. Oh. Yeah, you see. I think I need to go to the replay, don't I? Right, well, I'm out of there. And in the chat, what have we got? Well, that was horrible, says David. It wasn't easy, was it, mate? Your, your throttle not on 100% most of the time. Wow, Kaz. You sure? I have it. I got an app. Thank you, Rarish. That sounds amazing. Oi, oi, that was awesome. Marley, I think you won it, didn't you, for Fresh Class? Congratulations, sir. We had some great battles until I binned it. That was annoying. Uh, oh boy, that was so much fun, said Cynic. Dargo, P2 in class, congratulations. Yaku Kanudsen, forgot to change tyres in the pit. <gasps> oh, mate. Wowza, says Woodcut. Great battle, bro. Really loved that. I need a shower, says Steve. I agree, says Jeff. Small Town Cynic, did you know if you're in pit and you have your indicator on and you turn off your indicator, it turns off the pit limiter? <gasps> you do now. Good time to learn. When you're shaking your foot, it goes up and down. I need to stop shaking it. It's terrible. Incredible work, everyone. Great race, lads, especially Andy Matta. Jay, how did you get ahead of me in the pits? Well done, Vols. Made that Merc massive. Great defending. Yeah, um, Jay, how did you get ahead? Did you not change tyres? Because you just went... Phew. Scrolled up in the list and you got on stream. Good point, JH, but I don't know when to do the scroll up and down. Had no battles. Just spent most of the race letting everyone by. Fair enough, bro. Yeah, huge thank you to everyone this season. will be epic. Check Discord for standings. Had a mare from start to finish. Yeah, you had a bit of a technical issue there, Drew. What happened, buddy? You got me confused with your car won't turn on chat. I was like, oh no. Uh, we're going to do some uh, classifications. Although again, these aren't these are only preliminary. So we'll do some classification and then we will do... Actually, hold on. Let me load that up again. Came out in clean air doing 29s. Oh, you lucky man. Yeah, I had a terrible pit stop as well. Well done, guys. Good race, Jay. Cheers, Andy. Small Town says, thanks to the other races. I think it went really well, especially for that one. I'm so happy with the community. Oh, cheers, Cynic. Juan says, Rarish ran away with the build class. Big thanks to the stewards, says Steve. George says, that was a blunder at the end, Jeffy. I wanted to look at all the results. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Blunder. Love your words. And he says, no sleep for two nights is my excuse. Nice one. Good excuse. Love your excuses. Right, so what if I just play this? Meanie George. Where is it? Because Rarish said he's got him in Discord anyway. What well, if I go here? 
and then go HUD. There we go. I think that's everything. Thank you, Rarish. I never left there, Sydney. Good. I think that, if we go here, is the official standings. I know my face is in the way of it a little bit. It was never questioned. I sent you a picture of the final standings. All downhill for me now. Cheers, dogs. Huge thanks to the stewards. MVP says Cynic. Good job, Rarish. So, P1, we have Richardson. Nudson, um, not a one lap ahead, but you know what I mean. Clarkson P3, Santens P4, Rarish P5, winner of the build class. Well done. And then Siv and Jammer. And then Miles and Vols closing off the podiums for the build class. Andy, Jay and Woodcut behind. Winner of the fresh class, Carl Gibbons. Brilliant laps there. You're well ahead of the gang. Good work, sir. Uh, awesome job, everyone says. Marley in the chat. Yes, well done, Marley. But did you stream it, bro? I never, you thought you said maybe. I wasn't sure. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Jeff says, Dan. Drooper says, I knocked the ignition button on my wheel and it wouldn't come back on again. Then got a puncture and was running at 24.8 on my front right. Ugh. Also, 60 in chat, Jeff. Wow. Love to see it. Big time TSC. Hey, if you build it, if you build it, Poops, they will come. Sydney says, I got P3, baby. Did you? I don't know, man. I'm not sure how this is working. We've got an app, Sydney. Wait, do I see this correctly? Is that Godzilla in P1? Yes, it is, Eric. Yes, of course. Oh, cool, Marley. Uh, excellent format and well set up. Great work, says Drew. Thank you, bro. You guys make it all special. You know that. You welcome, Sydney, for letting you pass. Teamwork. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, you sure you got P3, Sydney? If you did, congratulations. Yes, Marley, you won the fresh class. Well done. It is a prologue, but well done, sir. This. I'll tell you, you keep it up, buddy. You keep it up, and you can have this right next to your rig. It's a heavy, solid gold trophy for the fresh class winner. So you keep it up, bro. I really enjoyed that. Thanks, says Dargo. No problem, bro. Bit gutted Sydney got away from me, says Dan. He did got quite far away from me by the looks of it, bro. Yeah. It should have because of my five seconds. It's showing zero there, which is interesting, by the way. It's showing zero here. And if it was, then yeah, incredible. I'm wondering if it's applied it to his timing on this thing, by the way. I don't know. We need to test that a bit more, probably. Uh, kept up really well, Dan. I think George had a five set. Yes, he did. After that, I think I should be demoted. You what? Nice try, Jay. You weren't at the back like me and Andy. <laughs> me and all Beard had a bit of a thing. We had some good job laps, mate. Improved some I have. Yeah, mate, massively already. You're putting in the time, Marley. It's just like a musical instrument. You put in that regular time and it's just going to get a lot better and better. So well done to you. Well done. Can there be a class below fresh? Yes, there can. No, there isn't. It's a short answer. You didn't come last. I'll tell you that, sir. You gained your point. You, you got your points, Dave. You finished. You got your points. That's what racing's about. Everyone's on a different level at the moment. We know that. Right. Do we have anyone to interview? We did say if you want to have a little chat about your race and if you won, you should probably come and chat to us in the interview room. Have we got anybody in the interview? Marley says, thanks. Got to go. Do you want to have a chat, Marley, about your win? Little chat. I can talk to you first if you want. You got to go. Let's have a look. Is there anyone in the waiting room? We've got Nige in the waiting room. Awesome. Let's bring Nige into the interview then. Nige, good evening, good evening. How you doing? Let's see if he unmutes himself. Hold on. Let's see if we can get Nige to unmute himself. Okay, says Marley. Yeah, Marley, get in the waiting room, bro, and I'll talk to you in a second. If Nige comes off mute. Nige, you're going to come off mute, buddy? Did I just close ATC again? Jeez, what a muppet. Right, Nige is still on mute, so we're going to drop him off, and we're going to bring in Marley. Marley, good evening. Are you there? Oh, yeah, hang on a minute, Jeff, because got... <laughs> that's really weird. Sorry, I had to get rid of your stream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mute me on the stream, bro. Mute me on the stream. And let yeah, me turn you up a bit, because you're probably a bit quiet on my Discord for everyone. Let me turn you up. Oh, uh, am I really? Sorry. No, it's not you, it's me. There we go. Right. So, hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Well, mate, I'm okay. More importantly, how is our fresh class winner? Of the prologue, how's our fresh class winner? Sweaty. Yeah, I know, right? It's a bit warm, <laughs> isn't it? It's a bit yeah. warm. Yeah, man, that was that was awesome. That was awesome. Compared to how I started um, on ACC about four weeks ago, that yep. was awesome. Yeah, you did brilliant, mate. Well done. Really, really good race in there. Uh, Heldrone, how was your pit stop? Uh... 
I don't know if you saw it, but I clipped the wall coming out of one of the corners. You know, after the um, after the, uh, the second chicane, yeah, um, I drifted out and I clipped that black wall, um, and I I thought I was done for, but I only had like four and a half seconds of damage, That's so right. I I just repaired it and was able to, yeah. I was hoping for 12th, but I got a 13th, so... And I started, I mean, I started 22nd, so that ain't too bad. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations, mate. Well, uh, um, yes. well done again. Um, obviously, next week on Saturday, we've got Monza. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah, I am. I've got those... Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, Monza's, Monza's a bit of a crash fest at the moment in the dailies, so... Um, I'm hoping that this community stuff is going to make it a lot more fun. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, you've got to break a few eggs to make an omelette, as they say, and often, you know, things do happen in racing. But we hope it will be clean enough, especially lap one, right? And then we'll go from there. Yeah. So congrats again to you, uh, Marley. Say so thank yeah, you very thank much. You. Um, obviously, right. you stream as well, right? Marley streams, yeah. everyone. So a little shout out to your channel, Marley. Uh, yeah, it's just Marley Diesel on YouTube, just the same as my race name. Um, I try and stream like on a tuesday and a thursday and sometime over the weekend so so yeah that's it really. and it used to be gt7 but i've been that off and i'm acc that's the correct answer uh if uh, sydney or david or any of the um mods in chat want to put marley diesel's youtube channel in the chat that'd be awesome and guys yeah. why don't you go and follow marley he's about to try and win the fresh class all on his own. So maybe it'd be a good time to watch him in the streams as well and follow his little story through this series. But yeah, thank you very much for that, Marley, and we will see uh, you soon. Yeah, cheers, Jeff. Nice one, mate. I'll cool. see you soon, yeah? Cheers, mate. And okay. then also, in the chat with us, we have Nige. You there, Nige? I am this time, yes. Hey, got it all working. Beautiful, <laughs> bit of, beautiful. Bit of confusion. Bit of confusion. Excellent, excellent. So, was that, Nige. Was that, sorry, was that Marley behind me, Fresh Class? I had somebody... Yeah, Carl Gibbons, me. Marley. Yep. Gibbons, yeah. Great drive from him. Great drive. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's uh, Thanks, look, here he, uh, <laughs> looking at um, holding up the... Uh, I mean, the thing is, one of the problems is we didn't have everyone there tonight. So let's not get too comfy because you never know. There could be some surprises in every class, right? We, I mean, I was fighting with you, Nige, but there could well be someone in between us next time. Easy. So, uh, yeah, let's see how that all goes. How was the race for you, Nige? Brilliant. Loved it. The format, the presentation, the stewarding, the... Everything, everything spot on, exactly what I want from an evening's entertainment. Thank you very much, TSC. Beautiful. Are you sweaty as well, sir? No, oh, cool, cool as cucumber, man. Oh, cool listen cucumber. to the oh, cool, nice, fair enough. Yeah, I'm a bit warm. I know Steve said in chat he was feeling a little bit I have warm. I'm an Aston, darling. We don't sweat in the Aston. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, sorry, darling. You just glow. There we go. Um, <laughs> glow. But yeah, okay. And Nigel, we've got uh, next week uh, Monza. What track are you looking forward to most in the series? You've picked some bangers, every single one of them. Um, yeah, classics. Spa is always a favourite. I just love Spa. Yeah. So. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Um, well, and your car choice, you picked the Aston Martin, right? I was seeing a lot of the rear of that. Yeah, sticking yeah. with that. How was yeah. it? How was the Aston that's older? It holds up quite well, considering it's not really an Aston track, I think, personally. Not for me. It doesn't suit me. I don't know. But um... Any tracks you think it will do well at? Spa, I guess. I'm racing there tomorrow. Oh, I just love driving it. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and what do you think of the live stewarding? Brilliant. Absolutely awesome, spot on. Yeah, yeah absolutely awesome. spot on. Though, though, big hand, you know, round of applause to those guys. That was top job. Awesome. Giving the time up, so. And on that note, uh, yes, let's do a big round of applause. Everyone in the chat, for the live stewarding team, TSC stewarding, uh, we have our race director, Ian, and the guys all helping him out in the chat as well. Uh, they've done a wonderful job. You saw the live penalties being applied during the race pretty quickly, it looked like, some of it. So that was really awesome to see. Um, they're not going to get it perfectly. We know that. It's, you know, decisions they will make, and we just have to deal with it, right? You're not allowed to appeal, and you're not allowed to moan, and if anyone does it, you will be saying, oh, cheers, let someone else have my place. So on that note, Nigel, thank you very much for your... Um, presence as it were and for racing and for very clean racing it was some great battling with you well, i look forward to battling some, you at monza someone had to say hello i thought the winners might be popping in for yeah no they're, they're, prizes, they're, but, they're yeah. right well to be fair Mar marley did pop in he had to when he won yeah, but yeah, um yeah, yeah i think rarish and uh, steve are both uh, just dying a bit in uh, in their rooms <laughs> hot as hell okay. in fact i'll tell you okay. what we'll do i'll tell you what we'll do we'll say thank you very much nige yep thank you for jeff cheers bye and poor steve has been dragged in hello steve how you doing
Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi. We are now talking to the winner of the race, <laughs> outright winner, P1 wow. of the Pro Class, by a rather big margin, in the car that maybe I'm going to adopt over the next few days and just start going with. <laughs> How was it for it, you, well, sir? It was really good. Everyone was. Uh, everyone looked like they were having a really good, clean race out there. Didn't see any, didn't see yeah. any crazy stuff as I was winging past. I know you well. No, I had a crash. As you went past, I was all over the place. I just binned it before you came past, and when and the next time my tires were all over the place, I was like Ugh, just slagging around the outside of T one. It's horrible. But there we go. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. we go. And no, that was uh, good. Good. Um, I think that's looking good for the uh, up and coming tournament or championship, whatever you want to call it. Looks good, isn't it? Is isn't it? It is. Um, I don't think I'll be as. Uh, I don't think it'll be as competitive as that at the other tracks. I mean, no? Godzilla's quite good at the slower. It was, it was quite nice around there, but yeah, Monza just and bumped in it. GT two, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, bro. Well, I thought I'd drag you in anyway. I know you didn't, you weren't waiting, but I thought you can't get away with that after winning it, uh, the prologue out. Right. Uh, look forward to seeing you on the track next Saturday, sir, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, Jeff. Cool. Thanks, everyone. There we, go. there we go, everyone. That is our race winner and pro leader, as it were, Steve Richardson in the skyline. Wow. Okay, everyone. So thank you very much for your efforts this evening. Let me just leave that chat so I can get out of his way. There we go. Um, thank you very much for all of your efforts this evening, everyone. It's been wonderful having you all here. Uh, again, a massive thank you to our stewarding team and all of you taking part and everyone in the chat who's been watching. It's been great having your support. I know I've missed a load of stuff in the chat, so let's see if I did miss too much. Let's just scroll up. Uh, let's see. So uh, well done, mate. Well done tonight. You had a, you had a smart TV down the laptop. Nice one, Jace. Uh, thanks for the room, David. I saw Flint saying thank you for the position. Yeah, I was all over the place by that point, Flint. I was terrible. It's a shame. I was doing all right, and I tried to keep up, and I couldn't. I just toast. Pit exit was rough. Another great stream, mate. Keep it up, my friend. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Bring up the endurance tomorrow. So, yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow night is six hours of spa with Andy and David. Really looking forward to it. Charity race, very important charity race, all about driving for Dean, uh, a guy who very unfortunately has uh, what appears to be very bad health, uh, and we are trying to help raise money for him, and he's taking part in the race, I believe, so it'll be great to see Dean on track. I don't know Dean personally or anything like that, but I'm definitely keen to help out. Um, speaking of cars, I want to change mine, says Dan. Really? Grip hack, says Sydney. Uh, the incident was so unfortunate. Watch the replay from your Bolt, and just like me, you couldn't see. Something must have been wrong with my Godzilla. Oh, Case, talk to us. Uh, gutted I missed it, but glad I caught the end. Cheers, poops. Yeah, likewise. Uh, Moo says Vols. I thought you said meow. What do I know? Uh, go team, says Andy. Come on, Andy. I'm really looking forward to racing with you again tomorrow, mate. Um, so, yeah, thank you, everyone. I'm going to go now. It's already 10 past 10. I'm pretty dead. Uh, we've got a long stream tomorrow night. It's going to be a good seven hours, probably. Something like that. Half, six, seven hours. Uh, so, spend your Saturday evenings with us here at TSC. It's been wonderful today. Um, really enjoyed it. There's very few hitches. Um good to see everything working out as we intended and big thank you to mike voles who's helped set everything up and also do all the gentry list as well and he's been a sort of big part of this behind the scenes helping spread his knowledge so we can all have a better sim racing experience which is what the sim cafe is all about throw up your toxic wastes everyone it's been a great night i'll say thank you all very much for coming along and i'll see you tomorrow um sprint races at four in the morning for those of us in america in the uk so if you're up for that oof. anyway Peace out, everybody.
Life.